the reality is um, most people have a lot more losses than they have wins. And those losses are arguably more important because that's where the learnings are. That's how you get the information you need to attempt again to get that win. So really the a lot of the blog is is focusing on learnings and losses and and more education and less less bragging. Um and the pod the podcast, so the the awesome podcast, awesome spelled A S O M, um, is interesting. So it's it's an e-commerce centric podcast. The the focus is interesting because it takes four different perspectives. So the A stands for agency. Um, so it's someone that runs an agency. Uh, S stands for SaaS, software as a service. So someone that runs a software brand. Uh, o is operator, runs a e-com direct to consumer brand. And M is marketer. So it's four different approaches towards you know problems in e-commerce. And it's wild that so many things are looked at completely different um, by the you know different pillars of the industry. So it tries to Absolutely, give you a well yeah. well rounded a well rounded answer to a problem. Absolutely, I think this is a very good approach. I'm a marketer, on that marketer for 25 years. When I talk to agency owners, eh, it's a different world over there. Anyway. It is. <laughs> it, it's a totally different world, and sometimes we're not speaking the same language. So this hopes to like kind of bridge it together. Yeah, very good approach. I like that. Where can people find out more about you guys? The podcast is asompod.com, mm -hmm. awesomepod.com. We're on all social media channels. For myself, LinkedIn is is where where I'm the best at and the 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 most active. I'm not not very good at X. Okay, cool. Before we come to the end of the coffee break today, is there one final thought that you want to leave our listeners with? I would say on on the going back to the content piece, I think it's it's human nature and really easy to get paralysis by analysis and think that your content has to be perfect. Um, the reality is just hit the record button. Sometimes you don't even have to edit. Just go. I think the concept that content has to be polished is is false. Actually, consumers and people digesting content appreciate when something is more real and genuine. Mm -hmm. So yes, use CapCut, use a video editor if it's if it's easy and free, but don't get lost in it. Don't think you have to make this perfect finished product because the the raw stuff the genuine stuff where you can tell it's user generated and it's not some big organization making it the the real stuff performs better 